those were some really big holes. We could drive a Volkswagen down inside of one and completely lose it. So anyway, she's reburying those holes again before we dig the trenches out through there. Uh, so I'm going to get some pipe. She's finishing dig, uh, burying some holes. And then we're going to be back here and start putting this thing together. So hang with us. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, you can see what we're doing here. I'll explain it all as we're doing it. Okay, so we're down in the ditch right now and we're getting ready to install the manifold. And what the manifold is, is it's a line, it's a two inch line that runs all the way from the top all the way to the bottom here on this side. And it disperses uh, the fluids out through the laterals uh, in that direction. And uh, we have to have a total of six of them. And so we'll be putting in a T that directs each lateral out that way. And uh, the shutoff valve is actually while well, it's a shutoff valve, it, it really is going to be set so that it'll be turned partially closed. We won't know exactly where they need to be set until we actually have fluid coming through here. Then we'll set them so that it uh, creates a pressurized flow out into the system equally all the way down the hill. And uh, this whole system is called a is called a low pressure pipe system. And it's something that was new to me. I was used to just the gravity feed type systems with the big pipes with the holes in them. And uh, this is completely different. We're gonna be explaining it a little bit more as we are installing it. Um, but this is the part that dis distributes the fluid evenly throughout the entire field. And instead of just dribbling in as the water is coming through the system on a gravity flow, this is actually being pumped and dosing the whole entire system at once so that the whole system gets um, gets dosed at the same time with the same amount of fluid rather than just one section of a gravity flow type system. So anyway, that's what we're getting ready to do is install the very first uh, tee off that goes to the first lateral on the top side of the hill here. So that's what's happening right now.
right, so here we are down here. This is called a distribution line. It's part of the leach field of the septic system. And um, it is, uh, the manifold coming down here is a two inch manifold that releases water out into the field. And it needs to be reduced down to inch and a half and then have holes drilled into it and just extend it down to the other side. These valves are so that the amount of flow for each one of these lines can be controlled so that it spreads it out evenly all the way across the field. And so we're just gonna start by doing this one line. We're gonna test it, then we're gonna bury it. And so uh, this is the first one. Go. Okay, so we're getting ready to put the holes in the pipe. And the amazing thing about this is, and I still can't get over this, that's the size of drill bit that we are required to use. And that's the size of hole that's gotta be in the pipe. And there's only one every five feet. So there's not very many holes altogether. There's only gonna be about a hundred of them in all of the pipes out here. So every bit of fluid is gonna get pumped through holes that size. So we're just gonna drill them down in this pipe, get it installed, and then move to the next one. back ready to put this pipe this section of pipe in I've got the holes drilled in it and they say that you can put the holes either up or down um, and it really doesn't matter to them they say because it's under pressure and it's going to be pumped the only reason that I am going to put them in the down position is to me if they're up uh, it seems like the the pump would pump all the water out but then once the pump stops then the pipe would hold water so because they're so shallow, I would be a little bit afraid of them freezing. So we're putting the holes down, and that way, once the pump, once the pump stops pumping, then the water can naturally just drain out of the holes in the bottom of the pipe. So that's where we're going right now with this. By the way, it's almost 100 degrees out here today, and. Everything we've been doing has been out in the sun. Right now, we're sort of in the shade, which is, which helps. But wow, it is hot out here. All right, next pipe. So here we are down at the terminal end of this line and uh, it's right now it's 60 feet long. There will be a total of six lines up here and uh, so it gives us whatever their calculated amount is, uh, 360 feet I guess it would be. And um, the, the at this end is the other feature of this system that allows you to dial it in correctly. And so what we'll have is we'll have a, a turn up here, an elbow with a plug and a cap on top of it. And when you're setting the valves down there at that end to control the amount of flow that comes through these pipes, we'll have a three foot stand up on each end that'll just be open. And as, as water is being pumped through the system, we'll adjust those valves so that water hits the tops of these pipes all at the same time. Um, because we're on a slope, it will, gravity will want to send it down here to the bottom before it sends out the top. It's kind of like the lowest common denominator, the point of lowest origin on the, on the pipes. So all those will have to be adjusted. So this allows, right now we're just going to turn them up and put a cap on it. But when we get to make the adjustments on there, we'll put the stand-ups on, we'll unscrew them out, we'll unscrew the cap off, put the stand-ups on, get the level set, and then pull the stand-ups off and then put the plugs back on and then this system will be done. Okay, so we got this. Did I mention that it's hot out here today? It's 100 degrees. <laughs> so we're gonna get this done and go back in where it's cool. Um, 
so this one is done and it's uh, we're, we're not going to set the the valve until we have all of them done but right now this one is done and uh, I'm kind of tempted to go turn the pump on just to see how it works before we bury it because it's I'm very curious about it so I think that we will do that and then uh, then bury this line and I'm opening the valve to that one but we're leaving all the rest of them closed and uh, so I'm gonna go over there and plug the pump in we're gonna bypass the float I know there's water in the bottom of the tank so we'll pump some up and see exactly what happens so this is the pump that's the float so we're gonna bypass this and just leave it set here and I'm using an extension cord but um, we'll run a permanent line down here once uh, we get everything working right so the pump just turned on. We've got this line buried. We put uh, more crushed rock on top of the line and then went ahead and backfilled it with the dirt that we dug out originally. And to be honest with you, this worked a lot better than I expected to when we turned the pump on. I mean, it sprayed out with a lot of pressure down in there. So um, I'm actually a little surprised at how well it worked. But uh, I guess that's why they're the experts and I just do what I'm told. Uh, anyway, so this will be the end of this. We are going to, we got five more to do. And once those are done, we're done and we can bury everything. Um, we're leaving part of it exposed because they do want to do an inspection. But other than that, this is working a lot better than I expected. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.